This is Anna. She's got a secret, and it's hidden inside this red bag. Was she featured on the TV show Hoarders? Whoa! Does she make men take a 40-question boyfriend test on the first date? Yeah! Or was she busted for being a drug mule? Whoa! We'll open up this bag and a whole lot more coming up on Baggage. Whoa! Hi, I'm Jerry Springer, and welcome to Baggage, where singles uncover their most unusual secrets for a chance at love. Right now, let's meet our dater. She's a travel writer from Tulsa. Please welcome Anna. Ooh, Hi, Anna. How are you? Hi there. Very Hi. nice to meet you. Good to meet you. So you're an Oklahoma girl. Tell me about yourself. I love to eat and cook organic ethnic cuisines, give strong Thai massages, and oh. yeah, and belly dance all you night long. You belly dance? I do. You want to uh, do a little dance? I would rather observe your oh, you belly dancing. Watch. I okay. Can, yeah, my, my belly doesn't move. Wow, I hardly noticed the belly. <laughs> no, it's... Now, so what kind of guy are you looking for? You know, I am looking for a James Bond cowboy. A James Bond cowboy? Mm -hmm. okay. A man that is, is debonair and suave, yet he knows how to get down and dirty. Well, I tell you, I just met the three guys backstage. You ready to meet them? Yeah, I want to okay. meet them. Okay, he's a hairstylist from Las Vegas. Let's welcome Michael. <laughs> My name is Michael. I'm a very chivalrous guy. Chivalry is not dead. I can show you a great time. There you go. Up next, he's a landscaper from South Windsor, Connecticut. Give it up for Tommy. What's up, Anna? I'm an all-state athlete, a great cook. So if you pick me, I'll wine and dine you. <laughs> and finally, he's a salesman from Roslyn, New York. Help me welcome Jason. Hey, Anna, I'm a smart and athletic salesman from New York, and I'm here to sell you my heart. <laughs> well, our three guys, as you saw, brought along three bags, and as the bags get bigger, so do the outrageous secrets locked inside. Now, this way, Anna can decide quickly who she wants to date. So, gentlemen, it is time to show us your smallest piece of baggage. <laughs> Let's start with Michael. I wear women's jeans. Well, we welcome gay men on our show. Uh, I'm just... I'm just yeah. Well, I mean, um, I can see, Michael, that you have a very good fashion sense. I yeah. like your black and pink. Um, I think that's a little too feminine for me, wearing women's jeans. Don't go into my closet. Yeah. Mm -mm. They do look great with red pumps, though. Yeah, what about that? That does seem a little bit strange. Well, you know what, Anna? The women's jeans fit way better than the guys' jeans. Obviously, you could see my style, not lacking it. And if you're worried about being feminine, wait till you get me in the bedroom. No problem. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Tommy. I count my girlfriend's calories. What, he used to date Jenny Craig? <laughs> I don't get it. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. I mean, that's good that you have some awareness of the food going in, but that is way too controlling, and I enjoy life. Let's not count, let's live. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Wait, what? Tommy, what about that? I just like my girls fit, lean, and sexy, but, I mean, by the looks of you, I guess you won't have that problem. Yeah. <laughs> that's nice. Jason. Please reveal your baggage. I cry when I watch The Bachelorette. I don't want to know what he does when he watches Glee. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, I definitely want a man that has a sensitive side and yeah. is in touch with it, but yeah. The Bachelorette, that makes you cry? Is there a little desperation in there? Hey, Anna, you know, I've got a sensitive side. The rose ceremony gets me every time. 
but I promise if you pick me, we could cry and cuddle together. Aww. Well, there it is. Up next, Dan has to decide which fella is finished. Find out who's going home right after this. Aww. Welcome back to Baggage. Now, earlier we saw the guy's smallest baggage. We've got Michael, who wears women's jeans. Tommy, who counts his girlfriend's calories. And Jason, who cries when he watches The Bachelorette. And it's time for the deal break around, and that means revealing another bawdy secret. Now, we've placed their bags here randomly, and when Anna decides which baggage is too much for her to deal with, well, whoever claims that particular bag will be going home. It is time to uncover more the baggage. <laughs> Bag number one. I'm terrified of being abducted by space invaders. Don't judge. You haven't lived till you've been probed. <laughs> Bag number two. I pick up women at nude beaches. How do you do that? What do you grab? <laughs> Bag number three. I plan on adopting ten children. That's nice. That is good. He either loves children or he's running a sweatshop. <laughs> you recruit the way you recruit, you know? <laughs> Look, uh, we got three bags here, and I want to get your concerns on each of them. I plan on adopting ten children. That is a lot of work, and he better make a lot of money to support all those sure. kids. And you see the one that's going to be taken care of. Right, because right. I'm not. I pick up women at nude beaches. I mean, picking up women at a nude beach that just shows yeah. that he's only interested in one thing, or maybe two, but one thing, yeah. and that's, I'm, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Right. I'm terrified of being abducted by space invaders. Well, I mean, I don't know if we are the only ones here. I don't know, but that sounds borderline paranoid, and I don't want to deal with that. Yeah. And now it's time to choose the baggage that you just can't handle. And when you do, well, the guy that claims that particular bag will be going home. Which one of these is your deal breaker? Well, my deal breaker is. I pick up women at nude beaches. Gentlemen, it is time to claim your baggage. Just walk around with a clipboard counting the calories as you're walking down the beach? What? <laughs> hey, it's a good way to pick up women easy, and there's no tension there, so. Well, I'm sorry, uh, Tommy, but it is time to pack up your bag and go. Damn, Anna, I could have wined and dined you every night, but looks like I'm hitting the nude beach. <laughs> uh... Well, two guys remain. We've got Jason, who plans on adopting 10 children, and Michael, who is terrified of being abducted by space invaders. Gentlemen, please join us over on the hot seat. This is my biggest baggage. I had a threesome in my parents' bed. I was young, dumb, and foolish, but I would have loved to hold you in my arms in any bed. Welcome to Lots of brought to you by Telly Estate Check, where you can look up before you hook up. Now, Anna, we've heard your concerns about their baggage. Let's hear what the guys have to say. Michael is terrified of being abducted by space invaders. Jason, your thoughts about that? Anna, this guy's scared of aliens. Honestly, how is he going to protect you? With all those sightings out there and that scene in Fire in the Sky freaked me out. You know, I'm afraid of the unknown. 
afraid of those mysteries, but not with you. We could work things out step by step. There you go. Okay, now, Jason plans on adopting 10 children. Michael, what are your thoughts about that? Adopting 10 kids? Look at how you're dressing, man. Can you even afford 10 kids? Oh. What, do you want to overpopulate this planet? What if you get her pregnant? That's 11. Oh. You know, guys, I honestly love kids. I work with them. Brad and Angelina kind of inspired me. And just to let you know, I make a lot of money. And if you pick me, we could take it one step at a time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gentlemen, it's time to put your best foot forward. Now I'm going to ask each of you some questions that will help Anna to get to know you a little better. So let's start with Michael. Michael, please step into the hot spot. <laughs> Give me the first answer that comes to your mind. In which type of suit are you most comfortable? A bathing suit, a three-piece suit, or your birthday suit? Birthday suit. <laughs> What's one thing you've never told your parents? I uh, urinated in my little sister's spray sour candy. And as a travel writer, what's something about your travels that she could write about? Probably a threesome in Cancun. What's the most romantic thing you've done for a woman? I did have a private plane right to my ex-girlfriend. I loved her in the sky. Anna keeps in shape by belly dancing. Show her what body parts you can move best. Very good. Anna, what do you think of his answers? Wow, well, I, first, I love the dancing. I mean, that was, you know how to move your hips and shake it. Very good. And you seem very confident in your body and who you are. That's a good thing. And, and romantic, too, the airplane. I would love to have my name in the sky with a big I love you. Sure. <laughs> Jason, please step into the hot spot. If your bedroom was a circus, which performer would you be? The magician, the clown, or the freak? Definitely the magician, because I know how to make the magic happen. What's your most unusual collection? Beanie Babies. Anna is a world traveler. What's the naughtiest thing you've ever done abroad? Um, last summer, I actually went to Spain for running to the bowls, and I went streaking. What do you do on a first date to guarantee a second date? I usually try to connect with the girl on a spiritual level. Uh, not just the physical level, so that's how I kind of ensure that second date. Anna speaks many languages. Give her your best pickup line in a foreign language. Como se va, Anna? Je t'aime. <laughs> Whoa. How are you? I love you. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> there you go. So, Anna, what do you think about Jason? Jason, I mean, c'est très suave. I like that. Um, very, very, very open, very genuine. I can, I can tell that. But Beanie Babies, really? OK. Well, Anna, don't make up your mind just yet, because you still haven't seen Michael and Jason's biggest baggage, and that could turn everything topsy-turvy. And remember, Anna bought some baggage, too. Was she featured on the TV show Hoarders? Does she make men take a 40-question boyfriend test on the first date? Yeah. Or was she busted for being a drug mule? Yeah. The truth is in the bag when we return. Yeah. Welcome back to Baggage. I'm here with a lovely Anna, a travel writer, hoping to pen a new chapter on love. Now, two single guys are about to open up their biggest secrets hiding in their bags, and, well, Anna has to make a final decision. Will she choose Michael? who wears lady pants from Venus and is scared of little green men from Mars. <laughs> or Jason the crybaby who wants to adopt 10 more. <laughs> Gentlemen, it is time to unpack your biggest piece of baggage. <laughs> Michael. Website. That is not very cool with me. Um, glad you're good in that area, but that's 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 not my thing. Well, listen, it was a couple hours work. I was strapped for cash at the time. I don't do it any longer, and now I could take on bigger and better things, such as yourself. Jason, please reveal your baggage. I locked an X in the trunk of my car. Hey, 
Jason, Jason, I mean, you have presented yourself to be a very caring man. That is not very nice to do. Um, is she still in it? This was back in college, and yeah. my girlfriend was very drunk at the time and acting out. Um, it was a little violent and not safe to have her sitting in the car when we were driving home, but I can promise you that if you choose me, you'll ride safely shotgun all the time. So there you go. Uh, well, I tell you what, Michael, tell Anna why she should choose you and not Jason. Anna, I'm a great guy, very nice, chivalrous, I'm not cheap, and I can take care of you. And Jason? Anna, listen, I'm successful, I'm sensitive, and I'm confident. And look at this guy, he's wearing my sister's jeans. Okay. Well, it's time to choose. Will it be Michael, who wears women's jeans, is terrified of being abducted by space invaders, and appeared on an adult website? Or will it be Jason, who cries when he watches The Bachelorette, plans on adopting 10 children, and locked an ex in the trunk of his car. Well, you know, Michael, you do have a great fashion sense. I will say that those jeans look good on you. They do. And um, I just think that you're a little bit judgmental and a little bit mean. I, I don't... And now Jason. Well, Jason, you seem very genuine. You have a good heart. It, it seems like that, and um, that's very nice. Um, you seem a little sensitive, though. Uh, some things like the, the Beanie Babies and the Bachelorette, something I'm wanting more of a man, 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 but we'll see. Well, you could lock the Beanie Babies in the trunk of the car. <laughs> All right, Anna, it is time to send one of these guys packing. I'm going to have to say Michael's got too much baggage. Oh! I'm sorry, Michael, but it is time to pack up and go. I had a hot date off Craigslist anyway. <laughs> but good for you, Jason and Anna! <laughs> but it's not over yet. Will Jason be with her after seeing her big baggage? We'll find out right after this. chosen Jason here for a nice day, but the tables have turned, and now, of course, it is his decision. What's the secret in Anna's big red bag? Was she featured on the TV show Hoarders? Does she make men take a 40-question boyfriend test on the first date? Or was she busted for being a drug mule? Jason, of these three possibilities, what would be the toughest one for you to have to accept? I'd say the toughest one, Jerry, is obviously the drug mule. Yes. You know, I care a lot about my career, and I can't be associated with someone doing illegal activity. There you go. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see what happens. Anna, please reveal your baggage. <laughs> I made men take a 40-question boyfriend test on the first date. What are your concerns now? 40 questions is a lot. You know, I'm not in school anymore, and that seems a little intrusive for a first date. Anna, what about that? You know, I have traveled the world, and I have had some good experiences and some bad experiences, yeah. and so now I know exactly what I want, and I want to know if that man will answer those questions and how he will answer them. That's important to me. So, so you know, if you... If you're okay with that and you want to have a little fun with these questions, then I would be happy to ask them yeah. to you. <laughs> and he does have time to study. There you go. Just give us an example. Give him one of the questions, your favorite question on, on the exam, and see how he does. Go ahead. Okay. Um, if you were a king of a country, what country would it be and why? I'd probably be king of Kenya because I happen to be a humanitarian and I'd like to help the underprivileged people there. Okay. Now I have to ask you, can you accept Anna's baggage? You know what, Anna? You're beautiful, you're a great dancer, and you know what? I could accept your baggage. Whoa! Congratulations! Jason and Anna will enjoy a sunset horseback ride to Griffith Park and 
another festive Mexican dinner. We'll see you next time. How about that? Mm, I can't wait to go on our first date. I'm really excited as well, Anna. Just keep the questions to a minimum. Okay. Oh. <laughs>